one's picking up. You'll be picking enemy heads today. No reason to wait. Slaughter the cat when he must. Wait. The time's not right. Sometimes I forget what we're fighting. Powerful kings have no choice but to win the wars. Then why do Demavend and Henselt duel to settle things? My brother-in-law is from Ketwin. A decent fellow. Once I was in a market there. Quality goods, cheaper than our merchants too. Bloody hell, shut it! Every Ketwin is a bastard. Do you know what they'll do to our women if we lose this battle? Have you forgotten that they've come to pillage, burn and steal our land? Are we to give it away? Force on sea! Autumn! No. Wait for the signal. There's no time to lose! Silence! Archers! Light your arrows! Aim at the first ditch! Get them! Catch on the enemy standard! in enemy hands. We're sitting dogs here. You need to tell the commander we were ambushed. We can't hold without reinforcements. I'm to tell him. No, Princess Syphilis. Move it, imbecile, before they slaughter us to a man. I shall make it. First battle. Killed my first man. Got blood on my hands. Sent you. We were ambushed. We can't hold. Weren't your scouts keenly watching the battlefield, Captain? Yes, sir. They must have dug those ditches in the night. The field was clear by day. Lady Glefazig scanned it with her magic during the night. Ten lashes to each scout. Hang every third one. My lord, we need support. There will be no reinforcements. You must hold. And you, Glevesy, I'll settle this after the battle. The king will learn of your incompetence. Battles are won or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. Remember, I'll make a report too, and... I'll finish talking to you, witch. Time to win this battle. My lords, to your banners. the fray! Ah, ah, ah. 
Maybe you finished with me. But that doesn't mean I finished with you. How can we help you, Sabrina? My place at Hemsworth Court is threatened. Furthermore, if Vandergriff wins the battle, nothing will stop Hensel from taking up her edit. The balance of power in the North will be upset. What do you intend? I shall summon Melgar's fire to the battlefield. It will kill Vandergriff and weaken both sides. Any use of unconventional weapons may be severely censored. I'm aware of that. Hensel's hegemony is counter to the Lodge's plans. We will help you, but remember, in the event that you fail, you'll be on your own. I am ready. That's all you've got? You're dying fast, like roaches under my boot. Is there a kid ready to match? Sell Kirk of Gallic on this field. I've long awaited this meeting. Leave, Ghost. I'll not give up an opportunity to duel Van der Grift. He will kill you. Selkirk does not fear death. When you die, your soldiers will die every day afterwards. Forever. Leave. This is a task for a Witcher, not a knight. I do the soul before my Who are you? <laughs> Your 
Sabrina, is that your work? Order your troops forward, your majesty. The Adernian army is rooted. Not only the Adernian. Look at that terrified horde. This very morning, they were the finest of my knights. They'll make it if they're reinforced. Who allowed you to use magic? Sire, if you strike now, Lormark will be yours. You've tainted my honor. Brought death to dozens of knights. Sire, the battle is lost. You're put me to shame with one them offend. His troops fought like men of honor should, to the end. Sabrina Glevesig, I sentence you to death. You shall burn the stake. I will return to claim my birthright. July 25th, 1270. The forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't either, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. Hmm. Finally awake? Where are we? In one of the safest places in the camp, my friend. The brothel? Mm-hmm. How did I wind up here? I found you out in the fields, unconscious. The fog? Gone. Three days ago. Three days? You sure? Mm-hmm. In that time, Roach ventured deep into Kedwen on some secret mission. Managed to go off and come back. Did you come here to fuck? You gotta be kidding! My friend on his deathbed? I, I couldn't possibly do that! Look around. You're in a whorehouse. In a professional capacity only. Cedric was right. The power within the Battle of Spectres restores memory. Ah! So, did you get a look at another chapter of the epic poem titled Geralt of Rivia? I remember who helped me track down the Wild Hunt. Who? Letho, Foltest's murderer. I saved his life and he knew where to find the Wild Hunt. 
I don't know if we rescued Yennefer. So, what happened while I was out? Loads, you drove off the fog of specters. Hensel learned of the plot against him, and Deathmold lost it completely. What did you mean when you said the Deathmolds lost it? Hensel chewed him out for not telling him about the plot. Then he chewed him out again for failing to find the plotters. Deathmold's an ambitious guy. I can see how the stress might have gotten to him. That ambitious guy has had every last suspect arrested. Now he's interrogating, torturing, and hanging them. Yeah, he always goes back to what he does best. Why has Hensel waited to attack? The Kedwini nobles and officers are holding out for privileges. They want assurances there'll be no treaty with Nilfgaard, and that they'll get lands in the Pontar Valley. Hensel's agreed. Not on your life. He blew up. Roared and wailed and called them cowards. Thing is, he can't alienate the nobles completely. It went on for three days. Finally, he convinced part of the army, probably promised him a thing or two, and moved against Vergen. The battle's probably just getting underway. Any news on who might be behind the plot? They arrested Breitfeldt, Kiram of Kangorn, and Gunnar Bleckenhove and his entourage, but I haven't heard any details. Though I do know where to find the leader of the plotters. How come? I've always maintained that brothels are some of the best places under the sun. They're not only great places to... Get to the point, Dandelion. I overheard Whistling Wendy talking. Incidentally, don't let her nickname fool you. She's got a beautiful... Focus, Dandelion. Haven't the faintest who she was talking to. Never saw his face. But I heard him clearly. Further instructions from the boss. Today, in the hut on the cliff. Dandelion, there's one more thing. Tell me. Your pamphlet. If Deathmold finds out... Right. We need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Quick. I'm not about to leave you behind, Geralt. Adventure awaits. Kingdoms teeter. Plenty of things to write up in ballads. Damn it, Dandelion. Game's over. Can't you see that? When Deathmold finds you, you've got to go. Somewhere far from the Pontar Valley. All right. I'll do it for you. I'll go to Oxenfurt, say hello to some of her old friends. But just as soon as this blows over, I'll come looking for you. I know. We have unfinished business to take care of. What now, Geralt? I need to find Sheila and the Kingslayer. Then I need to get my memory back. First, I'm gonna find out who's behind this plot, though I expect I already know. Think it's Sheila? Leave, Dandelion. Hide, and I'll see you soon, old friend. Be gone! Enough of your wandering round the camp! We must rid ourselves of that damned mage, whatever the cost. If it were that simple, you'd be Viceroy by now. Mages don't die easily, and you've nothing left to offer us. Three years ago, you promised financial assistance. We were to convey information and resist Death Mold and his supporters in most matters. Nothing's changed. But it has. Foltest and Demoven had their throats slit. Someone, we know not who, wanted to slaughter the unicorn. The situation's fucking tense, and death mold's stronger than ever. More importantly, you've nothing to offer us. The Temerian treasury is closed to you. Gentlemen, you forget what will happen if the king learns of our dealings. We'll not be intimidated, Roach. And remember, you speak to nobles. I've been in Kedwin for three days. Traveled through nearby villages and towns. Saw old friends. Sounded out the mood. Asked for news outright. The people of Kedwin detest Deathmold and his thugs. They await the man who would dare to wring his neck. Someone approaches. Weapons. Easy there. What the swiven hell is he doing here? He woke up and walked over, if I am to guess. We didn't approve this. How did he know of our meeting? Something I'd like to know as well. Geralt? I have my ways. Unimportant. But it is. If you know, others might know. Overheard a conversation between Whistling Wendy and one of you gentlemen. How dare you, freak? I have a wife. It's shot. It's all shot, Roach. We return to our banners to aid the king in battle. Your plot is done, dissolved, having achieved nothing. Gentlemen.
You were gone three days. Been back at the camp? Any idea what's going on there? I haven't. But continue to get news from those... traitors. Who have they arrested? Dandelion mentioned Brightfelt, Kirim of Cainghorn, and... Not good. Kirim has been one of the plotters since the beginning. He knows me. Maybe the interrogators have yet to start on him. Quickly. Back to the camp. We need to warn Vess and the others. We've no time! Finally, you're here! Where'd everyone go? They were invited to a banquet. How do you know? I saw Death Mold's messenger arrive. What is this feast? A celebration. Apparently Death Mold exposed the leader of some conspiracy. The syphilitic prick. Where's this banquet taking place? The camp canteen. But it'll be empty now. Everyone's marched on Vergen. Quickly. Finally, you're here! I'll kill the sons of bitches. They'll suffer and die, long and painfully. Vess, are you all right? Y yes. What happened? Deathmold invited everyone to a feast. He said the king was grateful that we'd helped reveal the plot. A roast pig and two barrels of wine awaited, he said. He said Vernon had just returned from Kedwin. He was to be personally decorated by the king, and I was to be there to see it. The lads went to the canteen, I went to the royal tent. Well, Roach was not in the King's company. Deathmold jumped around like an ape, shouting that they'd all hang his punishment for Flotsman for conspiring. Vess, what did they do to you? I begged them. I pleaded. They laughed at me and let me go. Your Majesty, withdraw your order, I beg you. 
They're normal fighting men who were just following orders. They don't deserve to die. Please, sire, show mercy. They're men of honor. They deserve better. Honor? Where was your honor when... Death Mold, leave us. Your grace. What can a whore know of honor? You're a stupid little strumpet, and that is how I shall treat you. You'll behave if you want to see any of your foolish comrades again. Don't go there, please, Roach. Deathmold expects you to seek vengeance. He awaits it. He won't need to wait long. Don't you understand? They hanged the lads to provoke you. You were away. They had a battle to win. They didn't know when you'd return. You cannot go there. We won't. We'll follow the army. Kill every kid Winnie we meet. That's suicide. Plow it all. Everything I loved died in this tent. My country disintegrates. My friends cruelly murdered. I want blood. As do I. You've no idea how much. I can still smell that swine on me, but I'll not let them win. Attack Hensilt now. Among his army and blood will flow. But it will only be yours. Vess is right, Roach. Better go for now. Fuck! What do you suggest I do? We'll try to get to Vergen through the ravines. I know a hidden path into the town. With the battle raging, we won't be noticed. We'll find Sheila and get the Kingslayer. And in the process, kill as many Kedwenis as we can. Vess, can you manage it? Vess stays. I'll not put her in danger again. And someone must get back to the Percival and its crew. Sail to a nearby cove. We'll need some way to get out of here. I'll take the boat around the bend, past the camp, and await you there. We must head through the ravines. Shit, shit, shit. Vess is lying. I can vouch for her with my life. I can't believe she escaped death mode. What are you suggesting? Nothing. First I'll kill Henselt, then death mold. Or maybe the other way round. What do you advise? I advise you to shut up and keep your eyes and ears open. Pleasure comes later. Beast. A troll. Watch it. He could break your neck with a single blow. Do I look like a cow? Who are you? What want? We're passing through. Wishes trolls kill. Me kill. Not easy. Run! Old man coming. Old man rip apart you. Calm down, you silly cow. We're on our way to Vergen. Where want run, go. This way, not. My home is. Folk in and out. No peace for troll. Bother, bother. Who does? Folk. Geralt, let's end this beast's suffering. Wait. Who's been bothering you? Try to remember. We shall other. Shinehead here come. Fat. Did you speak to him? Tried. But he my face. Whack! Old man called. Beat in your missus! He sword show. Blood springs. Old man down. Wounds. We shall say, rush to Lomin. You mean Loch Muin? So said. We shall say, rushed. Other he'd take old man's. You mentioned that already. Anyone else pass through this way? Lady came out fog. Awful reeked. What did she look like? Hew me, lady. Anything more specific? Head strange. Horns huge. Sheila. Say Vergen go. More nothing. Good to chat. No harm in talking, see? <sighs> Sleep I. Run out go. Sweet dreams. Old man see. Tell not wake me. I want sleep.
tank. Good humans. Bad death. Take care of yourself, troll. From Gully come. There, my missus. Her see? We did, yes. She? How? She's fine, as long as she didn't run into a Kedweni unit. I no! Kedweni, no! Kedweni, murder! Maybe she evaded them. Old birds, honor I protect! Kill Kedweni! All kill! Go to Vergen. You'll find plenty there. I go hard hit. Hard! Witcher Geralt and Vernon Roach. Now that's some pairing. Out of our way, Pangret. Come on, Roach. You know this is no chance meeting. You never appear anywhere by chance, always turning up where the pay's best. You haven't changed a bit. Think you're superior because you wiped the royal arse. Sad. Kill them!
You said you'd got rid of them. I underestimated them. You'll pay for my people, you whore's son, for each and every one of them. So don't underestimate them this time, and never let me down again. Perfect foe for you. Don't chase me, it would be stupid. <laughs> that was a good fight. I'd forgotten how well you witchers do sword in hand. What now? You murdered my men. I had nothing to do with it. Wasn't even there. Hanselt ordered your man killed. On Deathmole's urging. I'll not ask for your mercy. To tell you the truth, I don't know what I'd do in your position. But should you decide to spare me, you have my word I'll go and stay out of your way. I'll hold you to your word. Go where you will. Next time, choose your missions more carefully. Perhaps it's time to rest. Got a woman in Tredegar. Julian. She's expecting. You knocked up pretty kitty. Ah, oh, congratulations, Pangret. And give her my regards. Thanks, Witcher. I won't be needing this anymore. Take it. Farewell to you both. See you next time a war rolls around. <laughs> Dandelion could have stayed. Sultan, Bergen will fall. Get out of here while you can. Oh, there'd be nothing dwarven about that. Leaving my mates! Alright, just don't get killed. Don't get killed yourself. As soon as Bergen's victorious, I'll find Dandelion. I owe him that much. Incidentally, what are you doing here? We're looking for Sheila. She's staying in the house of that other sorceress. What's her name? That's the one. Where's the house? It's the furthest to the north. Shortest way is across the road bridge. This is a secret passage extending beyond the city wall. Thanks. One more thing. They've surrounded York. It's rolled up in the town hall with a handful of squirrels. Good protector. 
There's the bridge, let's go. Less surprised to find you amongst Hansel's mercenaries. You never did get them. I haven't forgotten about Flotsam. We shan't retreat into the woods just because Upper Edda has been conquered. Your dreams over. Never. Or I'll... Don't make me laugh. You wouldn't let me out of here alive anyway. A soothsayer now. Kill him. Certainly, fence. 
It seems I've met my match. You've won the battle, but lost the war. The city's in my hands. And you're in mine. For the good of the Temerian crown, Vernon Roach is prepared to do anything. If needed, he becomes a murderer and requires others to do the same. Bernard Laredo had only disdain for the world, gave it nothing but suffering. I helped Roach, joined him and his people, and I had to face another choice. Killing the commander of a forgotten trading post is not the same as killing a king. Even if both are murderers and rapists. Vernon Roach, Temerian Cockerel of the Blue Stripes, what will you do with me? You know perfectly well. You won't kill me. You wouldn't dare. I'm the King of Kedwin and soon of Lormark. The North won't survive without me. I've won. Do you know why I rushed into battle? Do you? I had to resolve it before Loch Muin. He's playing for time. Let's kill him. Wait. Tell us, King. What's going to happen in Loch Muin? A new world order. New borders. Everything will change. All the kings and princes of the North will be there. Do you know the old saying? He who controls the Pontar Valley controls the North. Have the mages been invited? It's their idea. They want to revive the council and conclave. They want to regain their rights and privileges, their place in society. What tripe. I've outsmarted them all. I'll be the one to dictate treaties. I'll show them who's ruler. You had my men killed. Of course I had them killed. What do you do with spies in Temeria? Give them awards? None of those hanged were part of the plot. Only me. You know the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Your villainy knows no bounds. What do you call villainy? The fact that I've made Ketwin stronger than ever? You fool. I'm the last ruler of the North whom Nilfgaard must respect. And it will. Witcher, reason with him. Are murder and rape royal virtues of the New Order too? Every wench dreams of being ploughed by a king. And Vess? Did she complain to you? I thought she liked it. She squeaked like an unoiled hinge. I'm leaving you two alone. Squeaky hinge. Funny. Very funny. You wouldn't dare. Enough of this plowing chatter. Someone needs to die, and I'll sleep better for it. I am Henselt of Ardkareg, the last of the unicorns. I won't beg for mercy. Look me in the eyes. Go on! Take your revenge! A flea has bitten a lion. We know what happened here. Well, and Hensel. The sooner we forget it, the better. I'll erase it from my memory. Sheila teleported herself to Loch Muin. Where there's Sheila, there's Letho. The murderers are gathering for their peace talks. We have to be there. Sheila to Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. 
following the demise of the council and conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Wing, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Wing, Master Dandelion? Your humble servant and chronicler was forced to flee the Pontar Valley, as he very well might have paid with his life for his heroic stand against King Henselt. And to allow oneself to be humbly slaughtered, consigning to oblivion this account of incredible events, would be a grave transgression against the arts and letters. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. Has Radovid's messenger been by? Yes, sir. And what did he say? Tamaria cannot survive. The kingdom will be divided. The nobles are riled. Constable Natalis stands on shaky ground. Hmm. The loyal old Natalis will get kicked in the ass. How predictable. And they nearly reached an agreement, but without Voltaire's daughter, it didn't work out. Perfect. Are the quarters ready? There is a little problem. Then we must look at this problem. There's no door. We can't lock her in a doorless cell. I can see that, you fool. Out of my way! Uncle Deathmole will cast a tiny spell on your little house. Versa Anem. We won't let that naughty Natalis get you. <sighs> Clear up in here. This is Loch Muin, not a bloody pigsty. Ah, <laughs> oh, bollocks, Geralt. Marshal Rorpenek was a cruel, bloodthirsty prick, true. But the times were different. He had his men murder every last elf in Loch Muin. For years, Jorveth and his ilk have been using that banner to wipe their asses clean of the shit they do. In wartime, a commander's forced to make all kinds of decisions. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and I'm sure it lay really heavily on Ropanek's conscience. Bollocks again. I've already admitted he was a prick. Are you defending the Enche? They've got barrels of blood on their hands as well. With the Vrans gone, we had to safeguard this source of the power, safeguard this historic city. Huh, <laughs> elven driven. Heaps of lizard-like bones were found in nearby caves, all bearing traces of sword cuts. Uh, I think what you will. I'm more interested in the city's current inhabitants. Why am I worried you're going to do something really stupid once we get there? Above all, I'll find the cure to my suffering. Deathmold was just a pawn in Henselt's hands. Deathmold is a bloody murderer, and Henselt was a king. A king I killed. He didn't believe I'd do it till the very end. Nor did I. It's not something I want to discuss again. I don't know if I'll ever strike those images from my mind, but I know I don't want to talk about it. Taking revenge on Deathmold won't change a thing. Oh, but it will. The ghosts of my comrades will drink to my health. Blue stripes were more than fighting force. I selected and trained those men. They weren't even given the chance to die. Letho and Sheila are in Loch Muin. They'll never leave it. Damn it, Geralt. We've got to hurry. 
I'd expect to see Knights of the Flaming Rose. They're here with Radovid. After losing their foothold in Temeria, they rebuilt their position at the Redanian court. You best stay out of sight. You never know with those bigots. Don't worry about the Knights. Not so long ago I saved their asses. They ought to remember that much. That was before you were accused of regicide. This is no man's land, Geralt. Anything can happen here. I'll vouch for you where I can, but that'll only get you so far. If we're separated, we'll meet up again in the main square. Fine. Halt! Who goes there? Vernon Roach and Geralt of Rivia, in the service of Temeria. Faltest's killer in the service of Temeria? Faltest's killer is in Loch Muin. Geralt of Rivia will help me capture him. Since you're Knights of the Order, is there a Ponce named Siegfried among you? There is indeed. Tell him I'm here. He's sure to be pleased to see me. And why is that? Well, he wouldn't be Grand Master if it wasn't for me. Come through then. Looks like Radovid doesn't believe the peace talks will end peacefully. You can be sure of one thing. Geralt of Rivia. I'd sooner expect to see you in a Temerian dungeon. Been there. Didn't much like it. Though it would be perfect for the man Vernon Roach and I are looking for. I've heard much about the Commander of the Blue Stripes. I'm honored to meet the Grand Master. A position I owe most certainly to Geralt. Only you can guide the Order through the necessary reforms. We are doing our best. You've got yourself into a fine pickle, Geralt. You don't really believe what they say, do you? Only a fool could take you for a Kingslayer. On the other hand, fools are never in short supply. What are you doing here? Let's say I'm here just in case. I heard these were peace talks. Peace is very easy to discuss much harder to maintain. What are your orders? Radovid is a young king with all the necessary qualities to become a great leader. We aim to make this a reality. Gaining nothing by it? He has granted us land. The order does not bite the hand that feeds it. So, you ought to intervene if the talks don't go Redania's way. I believe diplomacy will prevail. At a summit, everyone is pulling their way. Things can get heated. Knowledge that Knights of the Order are stationed just outside the city walls should prevent the situation from getting out of hand. What can we expect to see in Loch Muin? The delegations have entrenched themselves in their districts, erected barricades as if preparing for a siege. You can never be too careful. So long, Siegfried. Going to the Redanian camp. If you want to look around, I'll meet you near Radovid's headquarters. All right. I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional. <laughs> It's nothing personal. One more windbag.
Bells, bells, who do we have here? Witcher Geralt, the seeker of square coins. What do you want? Last time Zivik stuck his nose in. This time, he's not around. Fight! Company fall in. Ten shut! No one attention to you, fool. Right. Where are you from? Yeah. Showed us for praise. Yeah. Oh. That is. Oh. Serve the emperor, be it in Nilfgaard or here. Simplify. I'll get you, snitch. Don't try this again. We serve him faithfully and effectively. If anyone gives me reason to doubt this, I shall skin him alive. My commander, do well by the emperor, and the emperor will do well by you. You shan't regret it. Understood, ladies? Long live the Emperor! Emperor! Formation! Forward march! Ready for your chat with Radovid. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. A daredevil. Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? No, but we have some very important news for him. I cannot let you through to see the King. The Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose will vouch for us. Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm. Pass, then, if your news is so important. But one word from the King and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. Temeria stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terms with Kidwin. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. I take pleasure in seeing Kidwin picked apart. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos. So you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. Stubborn coat. Wouldn't listen. Just as I thought. Back. Did you request an audience with the king? Why? Yes. The king will receive you. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. It's hard to focus on killing monsters when so many people are out to kill me. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Temeria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Pontar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. Hensult was butchered in Vergen. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensalt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? I killed a would-be assassin. Pure coincidence, I just happened to be there. Things like that oft seem to happen to you. Do you know how he died? I wasn't there. The first lie of the day, and the negotiations have yet to begin. How can I help you if you're not honest with me? I killed him. Hanselt had Roach's unit murdered. I can't call it anything else. In doing that, he signed his own death sentence. When he was looking for Saskia in Vergen after the battle, I cornered him in a hut and I killed him. What about Deathmold? 
He followed orders and deserves the same. Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. What's the delegation from Nilfgaard doing here? Henselt invited them. Before he died. Shillard Fitzestelen would never miss an opportunity like this one. He'll come to the talks and stage his favorite drama. If Tamaria is in turmoil, then who has arrived to represent it? Constable Natalis, the hero of Brenner, which is good. His presence is like a slap on Shillard's face delivered by the North. Why did you bring the Knights of the Order here, Your Majesty? The Order of the Flaming Rose is here to ensure that the talks remain peaceful. We wish to avoid a second Thanet. Who's representing Kedwin? Only the sorcerer Deathmold and his men are in Loch Muin. But Deathmold represents himself. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Tamaria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? I found one of the assassins after Henselt's murder. Before he died, he revealed de Tanzerville's role to me. Why you in particular? He knew me from the time I can't remember. Your past troubles me, Geralt. But I have more pressing matters today. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelen warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Tamaria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Divide Tamaria? Shame on the traitors! Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After Foltest's death, the Lavalettes came to prominence. Louisa's uncle, Baron Orville, became one of the most important people in Tamaria. He wanted to see Anais on the throne, but Vizima was still in turmoil. They sent her to Loch Muin anyway to declare her queen before the entire north. During the journey, the girl was kidnapped. Arian Lavalette asked me to use my connections to find his sister, which I did. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt. And I'll salvage a united Temeria, and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian King's blood. I heard Arian died in the fire that consumed Lavalette Castle. We all thought so, and we were all wrong. The girl is most important, Witcher. I would look after her, take her back to Tretagor in Redania, where she would mature under the caring gaze of her half-sister and my wife Ada. When she's of age, she can claim the throne and thus guarantee Tamaria's sovereignty. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. An alliance with Redania is our only chance of preserving Tamaria's independence. It's still risky. Anais, she's the key. I still wonder about Boosie's death. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmold. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Tamaria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. This is no place to talk. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate.
approach. Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Paperbrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another mess. This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Falter's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously, I was wrong. But I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Boosie is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that get you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Foltest's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all! Geralt, I need to look to Anais. Learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Boosie. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. All right, Roach. I'll help you this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedwenny camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida, learn what you can. I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. Which way are we headed? We shall leave Loch Muin through the Order's camp. We won't be bothered there. Then we'll descend the mountain path and go onto the river. Who knows what we'll find? I remember you. Visit. Does it matter, Witcher? You mentioned like Blessed be the eternal fire of the Meridian. Into the Temerian camp. I remember you. Too early to pry, Witcher. I'll not let you pick my brain and abandon me. The main path leads to the right. That's where they're likely to be waiting. Roach would say they'd be waiting along both paths. Roach, Roach, Roach. You're with me, not him. And I decide for myself. I need to meet someone on the riverbank. We'll go through the wood. Calm thus far. Your dear Roach seems to have been wrong. You two have a history. Or do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Faltist's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Moon for the summit. <laughs> yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. It's Roach's bitch! Kill them! So, 
Temeria is like a haystack, and the information I have is a burning torch. Fill the rest in for yourself. This is the smuggler I spoke of. This was the smuggler you spoke of. Someone's coming. You'll not say it off, you whore! Kill her! you. I'd not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. And you don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Tell me about the Vipers. They... they created this storm. Are they working together? I would say they detest one another. Or that's what they wish everyone to believe. The devil only knows. You know what the Count intends? No, but I cannot imagine anyone more different from Baron Kimbolt. Meaning? I would call him a sheep were his heart not black. He's a jester, an especially nasty one, though I cannot identify his master. He may not even have one. What does Baron Kimbolt want? A strong Temeria and a strong North. He's obsessed. He believes we're surrounded by rebels and traitors. The Lavalettes, the Maribels. He's probably not alone in that belief. But he is alone in believing that he himself is the remedy for that ailment. The Baron sees himself on the Temerian throne. He claimed he would achieve this by marrying Anais. Isn't she a little young for him? He's a disgusting old satyr. He'd be a tyrant were he to don the crown. Seems you got to know the Baron and the Count well. Then there's Roach. Pretty interesting social life, I'd say. Being a courtier, that was no life for me. I thought it terribly dull and found a remedy. Searching for excitement shouldn't get you killed. It's the last time I do anything of the sort. You can't be sure of that. Is Vernon the only person you do favors for? I've never betrayed Temeria, if that's what you ask. Who's out to kill you? I don't know. There you go again. Truly, I cannot be sure. At first I thought it was revenge for the children, but he knows I'm no traitor. It's not Roach, we both know that. Yes, yes, you're right. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander. A change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turn-off, 
we were attacked. The attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. He was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Busi's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anaï still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. They merely grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I have them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor. Mages invested quite a bit in putting this summit together. By the look of things, they'll achieve what they set out to achieve. That doesn't bother you. The Order will refrain from reacting for the time being. And the Conclave itself is not a bad idea. Easier to keep an eye on them when they're together. And when they follow a shared set of rules. After Thanet, they dispersed and each did as he or she pleased. We even heard that some engaged in forbidden magic practices. I guess you won't stay out of it if that happens again. We trust that with a strong, well-established conclave, the mages will regulate those matters on their own. I doubt you've changed your minds about non-humans, but what about humans? What about all the peasant revolts, the lynchings of nobles? The Order espouses and safeguards certain values and virtues. We cannot stand by and watch them violated. So you're prepared to get drawn into new wars? Well, we are soldiers first and monks second. Whoa! Roach may trust you, but I'm not so sure. What do you want? There's a traitor among the Temerians. Careful, Witcher. You'd better have evidence if you plan to accuse someone of treason. I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out! Before I call my guards! And what might I convey? Nothing! Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! to this matter. Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witcher's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. Fortest's other favorite hound alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring trouble wherever you appear. What'll happen to Temeria? Is that a note of nostalgia I hear in your voice? Remembering your service under Faultest, or recalling some romp in the sack with the royal advisor? Whichever it may be, spare me your courtesy. You don't care a lick about my country. I know what I care about. That's why I asked. Understand this. I'm talking to you only out of respect for Fortest, out of remembrance for him. I haven't seen much evidence of that remembrance, aside from the rewards on my head. They'd have hanged you if not for the testimony of little Anais. So the girl finally talked. Whoever that monk was, to me, he was just like you. I didn't kill Fortest. That's just one of the things that makes us different. Really? What else? Honor? Principles? I'm a witcher. I don't kill humans for coin. Are you certain it's not just a question of price? Tell me, Geralt. What were you doing at Faltes' side that unfortunate day? I was doing the right thing. You wouldn't ask that question if I was an ordinary soldier. 
But you're not. You're not a soldier. You're not even a Temerian. You're a paid thug. Even if you refuse to acknowledge it, that murky set of principles, values call them. You cast them in the nearest corner when the price is right. I'm not for sale. I'm not talking about coin, Witcher. As a freak, you want what you're most often denied. Camaraderie, respect, love. It is for those things that you scale walls and murder innocents. That is your price. They say there are no innocents at war. Indeed. At war, there is but the cause you fight for. A higher calling. Though they also say war is a refuge for the cursed. An asylum for those stripped of heart and soul. A higher calling. Beautiful concept. Except I remember the knights who stormed Lavalette Castle. Highborn men fighting atop high walls. They were out to kill for fame, fortune, and pure enjoyment. I was also at Vergen, where simple soldiers went into battle clutching false relics to their breast, knowing that death awaited them if they deserted. They owed it to their king. If there's one thing I love about being a Witcher, it's that I never have to draw my sword on someone else's command. I tire of this discussion, Witcher. Get to the point or leave. They're gonna re-establish the Conclave. I didn't expect so many Temerians to show up for the ceremony. We're not here for some magic pompous circumstance. This is about celebrating a new order in the Northern Kingdoms. Is that so? Your kind doesn't understand this yet, but your life is about to change. Forever, my kind. Wanderers and scoundrels. People, and I use the term loosely, without loyalty or country. People for whom coin is the law and everything's for sale. Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? That's immaterial just now. If that's the situation, I've said all I have to say. I wrote no such letter. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. If this letter exists, we are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Temerian noble and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. All right. I'll see what this scribe has to say. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. Young alchemist! Do as you order! Drunk in a bar. Won't get anything out of him. Maybe there's something about testing the letters in his notes. Lights. I don't know any of these substances. Best not risk destroying the letter. Maybe there's a formula for the activator in the scribe's notes. deformed, guano into piss transform. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of burnt guano. Wait for it to dissolve. 
Smells like piss, but it worked. The sheet's orange, not blue. The letter's fake. Kimbold had nothing to do with this. Young alchemists! Not all that falls out to the ass is gold. Yet a cormorant. Don't try any tricks. King Slayer. You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yeah. Yes, all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Wien, his people began visiting the Nilfgaardian camp regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the ambassador without chagrin and openly as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Natalis. You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. All right, I'll look into it. My lord, we know where they are. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful day. Assemble your men and resolve this once and for all. King Slayer. Master Witcher! What do you want? My lord, the Right Honourable Count Maravel requests the pleasure of your company. He says it's urgent. Seems like everything is these days. Tell the Count I'll think about it. Aldrich? Baron Kimbolt said you'd point Hieronymus Lash out to me. Perfect timing. Come with me. It's you! So many crowned heads in one place. You must be pleased. Where's Lash? Patience, mate. They should be here any minute. Look, I've done my bit. Up to you now. We've got a tail. Stop him. Stop there, white one. What if I don't? Then I'll fucking help you! I'd like to see you try. Consider it done! the one. Kill him!
Busi and Anais. Yes? You have a traitor in your camp, Constable. I know what the Temerian nobles think of me. They have no love for me and seek to subvert me at every step. And that is how it will stay as long as the throne remains vacant. I'm not talking about you. Count Merivelle is responsible for Busi's death and for Anais landing in Kedweni hands. A grave charge, Witcher. This letter clearly shows Count Merivelle's men ambushed the convoy carrying Foltest's children. The boy was killed during the assault. They kidnapped Anais and handed her over to the Nilfgaardians. Why? For what amount of gold? For what swathes of land did that tub of lard, dripping with wealth, go so far as to commit treason against the state? I thank you, Witcher. You have done us all no small favor, though the Count's trial will bring its own share of grief. That is the state of affairs, Baron. Count Linus Maravel is a traitor. He has betrayed us, he has betrayed Temeria, he has betrayed the entire North. You have at last seen the light, Constable, and I am content. We must show the Count that even in this trying hour, Temeria remains strong, united. Representatives of the Council of Regents, did any come with you? Only Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel. The other five remain in Vizima. It seems that save Baron Orval, most spend their time trying to devise a way to undermine Anais' claim to the throne. Kimbolt and Maravel, what's their stance? Well, they've taken opposing positions, as one might expect. The Baron believes Anais' origin, if you will, stands in the way of her taking the throne though it's common knowledge that he would simply prefer to seat himself on it. Whereas Maravel has said that Foltest's children have his full support. He stated this in Vizima before the entire council. One thing is certain, words come cheap. Those two may change their minds in a flash if Anais is found and recovered. Impressive summit, but not all the players have their representatives here. The most important do. The Mages thought about inviting everyone, but time is short. What about Edern? It's a huge country. Torn by conflict and rebellion with no clear ruler. They're not to be taken seriously at this point. Sounds like the Ketweni point of view. The Edernians see it differently, I'm sure. The Mages will want to get as much as they can out of this summit, and Monarchs don't generally like others dictating terms. This may end in a row. There will be no row. The mages now rely on the mercy of the Northern Kingdoms. The amphitheater itself is also protected by an anti-magic shield, like the one used at Thamid. The times of mage impunity are gone. They will be shown their place. Baron, about that generous reward you mentioned, I'm here to collect. I see I was not wrong about you. A thug for hire, nothing more. 